Hey guys, this is Laurel of the Dabbling Hook and this is really going to be a quick one because I am using my lunch hour to actually record this because I have a busy weekend and I don't think I'll be able to record a video um, this weekend. So, um, yeah, I got the glasses on today. I wear glasses usually to um, for nighttime driving and to see far away. But my eyes have been bugging me lately, so glasses. Anyway, um, quick video. So, what have I been doing? Um, let's see. A couple of finished items. Um, pattern, release, and mail. So, we'll start with happy mail. Um, I got, what did I just do with it? You guys have seen a few other people um, show these cards, but I got a card from Carla. So you guys have seen the card around and I got my stitch marker of course it was laying flat right before this and of course it's not now there you go so you've seen this card at a few other podcasts thank you miss Carla I appreciate it very much I am horrible at sending cards even when I give gifts I usually don't put a card in there I don't know I'm just a I'm not a good gift giver especially at occasions I like I'll give things throughout the year or if I see something that makes me think of somebody I'll give it but when it comes to like particular days or holidays I'm horrible at that so anyway thank you Carla um, I also got um, a package from Kim or classy Kim ugh, classy Kim crochet and um, excuse me one second as I reach she sent me, she said she was sending me a pin, a pin, but she included a few goodies in there. She gave me a little um, planner, um, calendar slash planner, no, a little calendar, of course, a little card came in it, and then this little bejeweled um, notebook and pen set, and I'm actually going to give this to um, my niece. She always has a little um, purse with her, and usually there's like money in there. She hoards her money, but she always has little trinkets and stuff like this in there. So as soon as I saw it, I thought of her. And then Kim also sent um, some stitch markers. They are those, um, they are the bulb. Of course, she's not going to focus those bulb type pins and then she just put some um, letter beads on it and then there's a couple of yarn related ones here and of course you want a yarn ball a yarn skein um, and on the skein there's a little jewel star on it and she just included her card and on there is a big gold paper clip that she has a little tassel on So I will, once I put that off to the side, the pens that she sent, she said she was sending me uh, this one here. So this is the um, Gigi Made It pen, and uh, what is her name? Moose is in her podcast name. I just watched that last night, too. Well, she showed it. Um, but there's this pen that says We Knit Too. And it's got everyone on it, you know, because we're a community like that. But she also sent this one here. Now, this is the updated, oh, one of these days I'll get this right. There you go. This is the updated version. This was the original that I actually had, and it had the, um, oops, the, um, get me out of the way, and the glare from the window. It had the, the white background to it. The new one doesn't have so much, um, white on it and the other pen that I bought that came in the mail is this and actually oh was it Z who showed it too as well but Z showed this one and this is come on damn you focus uh, hopefully I'll remember to put a picture in so I can see it better but this is by um, Yolanda Jordan she's now my pretty brown doll and Z was trying to remember her name she used to be on um, Fresh Off the Hook. Um, her original channel name used to be Don't Get It Twisted. 
but she started making the brown dolls and now she has taken off with that um, rightly so so this is her pin and she has another one um, that she just released for pre-order and of course I got it and I really need to stop because like I said I was never into the pin thing at all and then I got one and then you know once you get one it just it's like snow barrels from there so um, she has another one coming that says um, <laughs> as soon as I saw it I, I know I was gonna get it, it says knitter please this is crochet <laughs> um, no shade to any of the knitters she said but you know um, so I just had to get that so that hopefully actually I think it already mailed it wasn't on pre-order I think I caught the first batch so I'm pretty sure I got a, a note that it mailed so anyway this is my collection so far and this is why I need a bigger bag which I will hopefully get to at some point so <sighs> so Kim thank you so very much for um, the goodies and the pen I truly appreciate it you went a little above and beyond and I'm sure my niece will love that little jewel glittery anything <laughs> um, so finished objects um, I have a couple so Valerie from Old Soul Create Old Soul Creation no, Old Soul Crochet Company yes um, she did the tutorial for the chubby bunny and I have I didn't think I have, I have small skeins of um, Burnett Blanket or similar type yarn and I didn't know if it was going to be enough and they weren't like plain color ones so um, I just went in my stash and la late last year I bought, so this is my finished item basically Yee. so um, this is made with um, what is it called? Bernat um, Outdoor? Maker Outdoor. Bernat Maker Outdoor. It's that home deck range that they have. It's basically a, a polyester type tube with yarn inside of it. Because if you ever to like really pull at it, try to break it, you'll see all the insides come out. Um, so I tripled it. And um, it made it kind of stiff to work with it's not too bad now but working with it really did a number on your on your wrist um, the good thing is this was a small project so it wasn't so bad um, I didn't have I only had I only bought one skein because it was on clearance I forget where I got it it was either AC Moore or Michaels or something and I got one skein so it's just been sitting there bright orange um, and I didn't have a different color for the tail so all I did is um, the yarn that I used in that swirly hat for the color portion of the swirly hat which is landscape I just took that and I held it with the with the Bernat and just did the tail so there's only a little bit of differentiation I was hoping I would have gotten to some of the brighter colors in there but it's stuck on the orangey color the peachy color so so that was that quick easy um, you know you have to sew on the eyes the ears and the tail everything else is done and the mouth and everything else is done in one piece so the legs on the underside so there's that um, so after I was done and it's a quick project to work up especially if you do it in regular yarn instead of the super chunky that you know work give you a workout so um, I decided I wanted to see it in regular yarn and I did this for her owl too when she did the, the snowy owl I did a smaller version in um, Premier Parfait, so I ended up doing the same thing. <laughs> now on this one, I think I'm going to take the mouth out and put it a little higher because when he's sitting down, you really can't see it unless you really look down. So, and if I look like I'm looking off to the side, I'm looking at the, the monitor to make sure I'm in frame. But yeah, it is just... I just love the miniature nature, the mini miniature nature of it, whatever. The ears, I could have sewn just a little lower, but basic, and this is just regular, um, what do you call it? Uh, worsted weight, I forget, it was just extra yarn I had sitting around. But yeah, so to show you the difference, 
Yeah, how flippin' adorable is that? Oop. There they are. So yeah, the using the Bernat blanket yarn is good, but you can substitute any um, any yarn, any size, just to see what you get. And you know, you can have this cute little tiny thing, or you can have the big chubby one. So um, yeah, not bad at all. So um, it's a two-part uh, tutorial, one to make the body, and then the other one to make the pieces, the eyes, the ears, the tail, and so on. So that's that. The other thing I finished um, was this, and I like this size. So this is the bag I took in um, account the seam allowance, which I didn't do last time on the two bags that I made. So um, I accounted for the seam allowance, and I also went to a um, three inch instead of a four inch uh, box bottom. So I the size is just perfect, just perfect. And it's just it's bigger than all the other bags pretty much that I've I've bought so far. Um, this is one that I made uh, it be last year when Black Panther came out, and then I went looking for the fabric right away, of course. So. This is the size of the Black Panther, and then, so, the Black Panther one is taller, and this is wider, so I I like this one. Now, the problem I have with, um, not really problem, but the thing I need to work on with making the bags is, when I'm sewing, my top fabric seems to always want to shift, and I'm trying to figure out how to keep it in place. So, um, I had the same issue with this, the zipper. It doesn't really show so much, but, and I don't know, why do we point out these little things? I won't point it out. Basically, my zipper, um, the distance between the seam and the zipper is different on, on either side because I'm trying to figure out how to keep everything straight. So, I won't point that out to you. Uh, I did try using the tape. Uh, somebody had mentioned it. Um, that they use the um, sticky tape. I forget what it's called. There's a name for it. But um, I had just actually uh, bought some when the person made the comment. I had already bought it and I was waiting for it to be delivered. And I tried it and either I'm not placing it correctly because after I sew, there's like a bit of the sticky tape that's still showing and then I have to rip it out. And the first time while ripping it out, I kind of ripped the seam out, seam, the seam out because of my wonky sewing so it's not bad it's completely functional it opens and closes perfectly I put my um, strap in the right location my tag in the right location instead of too far down I love the fabric and these are alpacas by the way last time I couldn't tell so I went looking them up um, they are actually now I'm questioning it the other fabric is alpaca. I think this one, these are llamas. The alpacas have fuller faces than the llamas. So I think these are llamas. But the other ones that I had before, definitely alpacas. And then the inside, again, it's this fabric right here. So it's a light yellow color with um, pink, pink and green flowers or pinky red flowers, which is why I use the um, which is why I use the pink zipper because there's pink on on the uh, on the llamas in their jewelry. So I think nope, that's not all. The other thing, okay, that is all project-wise that I've completed. I am going to actually because um, I have so many whips. I'm going to between now and next week write down all the whips that I have. I can't believe I've never done that before. Um, because if I'm working on something, I'm always thinking I have so much stuff I need to finish. And when I'm finished that particular item, I'm like, all right, what do I work on next? And for some reason, it just all goes out of my head, like what I need to do, what I need to work on. So I need to write them down to keep track, to keep my butt in track. Um, I did. <sighs> So I mentioned that Minion, Minion One was driving, um, or in the process, not on his own, because he has to wait another, 
three now, one, two, another three, three months before he can get his license. Um, you get your permits at 16 and 16 and a half when you get your, your license. So we've been driving around. So Monday after work, I had to run errands and he wanted to drive. So we basically ended up spending almost three hours out and he was driving everywhere around. So he's doing really well. Um, so on one of our stops, he wanted to go to the pet store. I'm like, I don't need to go to the pet store because there's snakes in there and they're like, they like to torture me that way. So there's a Michael's right next door. I went to Michael's and I wasn't planning on buying anything because I don't need any yarn, but the clearance, the clearance, I need to retrain my brain to like bypass the clearance. I need to work on that. But anyway, they had quite a few things on clearance, but for some reason, this color caught my eye. And I am a complete fall color person and it's mostly the the golden mustardy yellows and reds and just the fall hues of those colors I love it no matter how many times I try to stay away from it I always navigate back to it so I'm not fighting it anymore but these caught my eye so this is Bernat classic wool superwash and guess look DK I willingly bought a DK yarn with no reason other than that, it was on clearance and the colors caught my eye. Debbie and I were just talking about me and hook sizes and yarn that I'm using. And she's like, are you sure you don't like fingering? I'm like, no, no. It's just when I do amigurumi, I don't mind using all that small tool. But I bought this one. And instead of just, I think I bought all the ones that they had. And if not, I bought, I left two there. Um, I either bought them all or I left two. So instead of just buying that, and this one has um, the the red, the whiny reds, the purples, and browns. Those are the three main colors in there. So for each of the variegated, they're um, solid coordinating colors. They go with it. So I... One second. I bought each of the colors that are in that to go with it. What am I going to do with it? haven't a clue. Why did I buy it? Clarence sticker. And the colors. It's pretty. It was pretty. And it caught my eye. And literally, that's the only reason. So, um, I need to figure it out. I actually need to come up with a de design for something else for later this year. So I'm thinking I might just use that to, to try to do that. Anyway, that's that. Last thing. My, um, Granny shawl pattern. It's called the Yvette Granny shawl. I'm naming all my patterns my crochet patterns because um, I'm not that there with the knitting yet. I've just done the hat. So, um, and right now it seems like the the knitting patterns are tending to be after places we've been. So last time it was the vacations. Um, but my crochet patterns I'm naming after um, family. So next up. I have finished the granny, or I had pretty much finished it. I was just waiting on my testers. Thank you very much. Um, a few of them have mentioned it. So Seta, Melanie, um, a stitch to my Lou, um, Karen of Happiness is Homemade, um, Deborah Shell Hammer. She doesn't have a channel. Um, man, was she super fast. I mean, I'm pretty sure she did it in like hours. Um, and Carla of Crochet, Crochet CJ. I don't know why that's so difficult to say. So thank you guys so very much. So this pattern, again, it's, I am, and I'm not done, I'm done with this one, but I'm not done with what I'm trying to do with, I love the granny square or the granny stitch. No matter, people have a love-hate relationship with it. I love it. But there's an idea in my head that's just not quite working out. So this was attempt one. I don't like deep V. I've mentioned it before. Deep V um, patterns. Like as you grow, the V gets deeper and deeper. I don't like that. Um, personal preference. So I'm trying to get it where it has more of a, not quite crescent, but more of less of a sharpness to it. So this was attempt one, and I'm going to keep at it. But, um, and again, it's the granny stitch. It's nothing um, rocket science, nothing new, but um, I am going to charge for it because of the time spent with it, spent in it. Um, 
but what I am working, where I am concentrating, the effort is in the middle increase, and that's where this is a little different. And mind you, somebody may or may not, I've done a lot of granny square or granny stitch shawls, and I don't think I've seen this one, and it's, again, nothing rocket science, so, but it's mine, and I need to stop doubting myself here because that's something when I see people do it I'm like stop doing that and here I am doing it so this is what I've done it's gonna be out there um, one of the things I like about the granny this version and I think I've seen it in one other I'm sure it's been 99.9 percent .9 sure it's been done before um, where the the wingspan gets wider than obviously the the V so you get, and, and I like that because you get a good enough length to wrap around. Now this one's a little smaller because it's in a DK weight. So this is Maypole DK. Um, <clears throat> the info's on my Ravelry project page. Um, yeah, so these were the colors. My husband says it looks like a brick up here. And once he said that, to me it looked more, um, what's the word? Kim used the word. Um, crafty Nomad. Western? Southwestern. Up here looks very southwestern. But then this colorway is like so much brighter. And if you really take a look at the colors, it's you can almost say that they're the same colorway, just in different hues. So this is very muted, southwestern color, and then this is just pow, really bold. So I am loving this. It's great as a nice little chalet. Little wrap. Look at that. Oh. You can either leave it out here or tuck it under but I love that this pop of color now Z did send me this yarn I recall a while back um, I don't even think it was last year it was the year before and um, in my attempt to tidy up my yarn, yarn stash that one came falling down so I dug in and there was two of them so um, I'm rambling the yarn I'm not a great fan of it's it's very silky slippery plus it's DK um, it wouldn't have been my go-to I do love this colorway down here though love love and it's much more it's much richer in person than it's showing up on here today by the way it's raining um, two days ago it was like 50s and you know it felt like early summer almost yesterday it was a little cooler and today it's a little cooler still and it's raining and the sky looks like a big bowl of gray soup and it's just Ugh, even my hands are cold. I'm in my fleece. It's just chilly. Um, but we're not having snow like Setta posted um, on her last quick video that she did. Incredible. We used to get that a lot a couple of years ago um, where the like winter just didn't want to seem to end. But as she was driving, she stopped to film it. As she was driving, it just kept getting warmer and warmer. Yep, that's pretty much typical New England weather around here. So, But we've been a little off this season okay like I said I've been rambling for quite a while so this is out there it as of I forget I can't see the time that I'm filming this it's out on Ravelry but it's not active but by the time you see this it will be so this is what's gonna happen just for the brass straps again just for the people who watch my videos um, this is gonna be free so there's going to be a code I'll pop on the screen. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to pop it on the screen. I'll put it down below. That way, you know, it doesn't flash by anybody. I'll put the code down below. Use that code. Um, so if you're really watching the videos, you'll, you'll know about this. And use that to get this for free. Uh, you can use any weight of yarn, any hook you're comfortable with, and just go to town. It's a granny square. You can't go wrong with a granny square. Once you get the principle down, you can just go as big or as small as you want. So, it's done. It's going to be out there. Um, so, anybody who uses the code will get it free. And anybody else, it'll be 20% off um, just on sale for the next week. <sighs> That's it, I think. If I forget anything, I might make a quick video. If not until the next video so thank you guys for watching thank you one of these days I'll remember to do this at the beginning but thank you to all the new subscribers welcome um, thank you for stopping by thank you guys as usual for 
participating, chatting, and um, I'm going to have a, well, I got to get back to work, lunch is over, and um, this weekend I'm hoping to at least sew a couple other bags, because I, like I said, I have fabric that I didn't realize I had, so I need to use that up. Okay, have a good one guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.